Hey peeps, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to deal with the simplification of an algebraic expression with some little bit intimidating exponents in there. Um, but once we're through it, I'm sure you're going to find this one a breeze and get some easy three marks. So I'm going to rewrite the question just to make it easier for myself. So 2n, 2 to the 2, 2 to the n plus 2 times 4 to the n plus 1 over 8 n to the minus 1. Right, moving into our first step, what I want you to try and do is to try and get these numbers into product of prime factors. So the 2 is already a prime number, so we can't simplify that anymore. So we're going to leave it as 2 to the n plus 2. The 4 we can rewrite as 2 squared, but let's keep that in brackets because we've got the n plus 1 on the outside. And the 8 we can rewrite as 2 to the 3. Keep that in brackets n minus 1. Right, the very next step, we need to get rid of those brackets. So we're going to have 2 to the n plus 2. Then we've got 2, and now we need to multiply that by that exponent on the outside, which is going to give us 2n plus 2. Note how I've used the distributive law there. And then at the bottom, I'm going to have 2 to the 3n minus 3. Okay? Right, so now what do we see? We see we've got some powers, and all of these powers have the same base of 2, which means now we can start using some of our exponent laws. So when we multiply powers with the same base, we add the exponents, and when we divide powers with the same base, we subtract the exponents. What I'm going to do, actually I can finish it off here, I've got enough space. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to write a big 2, and now I'm going to collect my exponents. So I've got an n plus 2, okay, so that's that one over there, and then we need to add that exponent over there, which is going to be plus 2n plus 2, and then we need to subtract this exponent over here, and I'm going to show you where a lot of people make the mistake, minus 3n, now remember we're minusing the entire thing, so the distributive law has to go in, so that minus 3 becomes a positive 3, and that's where a lot of people are going to make the mistake. Right, from there we can start collecting our terms. So we've got an n plus 2n gives you 3n minus 3n gives you 0. Now a hint from me, in a question like this you'll typically, typically find that the uh, variable part of the exponent will fall away and you'll be left with a number only. It may not always happen, but it is a useful thing to keep in mind when you do this question in a test. If you get to the point where there is still a variable in your exponent, you may have done something wrong, double check. Double check, rather, to see if you have done something wrong. If it turns out that you haven't, then awesome, you get the marks. If not, at least you can change. So it's something useful to keep in mind. Okay, so we move on to the last step. So that n plus 2n minus 3n gives you 0. Now we can move on to our numbers. 2 plus 2 gives us 4, plus 3 gives us 7. So our answer here is 2 to the 7. And we can write it as 2 to the 7, but we can also write it as 128 if we plug it in. Our calculators, either of those answers are acceptable, and you've earned three marks for a lot of work, a lot of good work there. Well done. Very special thank you to our sponsor for making this video possible. Read all about them in the description below. Also, head over to our website for more of these epic tutorial videos. We've literally got hundreds free of charge, no sign up, no subscription, free forever, really. It's going to be and if you can't find the answer to your question send us the question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you free no sign up no subscription until then stay epic